Good morning you guys happy monday this week i'm gonna be filming a cozy little week in my life and this is just like my normal i guess day today that i'm gonna be filming this morning i'm going to the gym i'm not doing a workout class this morning mondays now are my gym days instead of workout class days i like doing a mix of like workout classes and gym so i'm headed to the gym but anyways happy start to the week is this the last week of november mm, i think it's this, this is the second last week of november or kind of the last week oh my god that's actually insane but anyways, okay, let's drive to the gym and then I might be doing some grocery shopping afterward. I need to plan out the dinners for the week. I didn't even think of anything yet, but I am in my soup era. So maybe I'll find like a nice soup to make again this week. But I don't know. I'm trying to find new dinner so they don't get like super repetitive. But I have to plan that out because if I'm already out, I may as well stop at the grocery store. So maybe I'll figure out dinner while I'm working out. Maybe that's what I'll be thinking about. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, you know how we do it. Forty on the neck, a compliment should come included. Yeah, gang did popping out ruthless. I can do the cool, but that's a baby to exclusive. Yeah, bitch, you better wear it if the shoe fit. I ran up a check and I'm too busy for your two cent. Hey, you the type to pop and never do shit. Wait, I'm the type to get your niggas blueprints. Yeah, really, we are knowing who the truth is. Here's a little overview grocery haul. I just picked up some romaine lettuce, some parsley, kombucha, bag of white onions, some chicken thighs, and then I got some rice noodles and some organic taco shells for some tacos with some vegan cheese. I just got some red curry paste because I'm going to be making a Thai chicken soup, which I'm so excited for. I got a lime for that, some avocados, butter, and then some zevia. So that is a little weekly grocery haul. But I'm just going to kind of clean the fridge out a bit and put this all away. So I just got myself ready for the day and my hair is in a disgusting state so I put on a hat and put it in braids because I did not wash it this weekend because I'm going to go get a haircut right now. I'm going with Madison, my sister. She's coming here and then we're going to go together. I'm going to get my haircut by this girl that I went to high school with and we were friends in high school. She has like her own hair studio right now and she's just like so good and I've been wanting to get a haircut for a while because my hair is just one length and it's bland, okay? There's no layers. I don't have any curtain bangs anymore. It's just literally completely completely basically one length and I want to spruce things up especially for like Christmas and stuff I just feel like I'm very overdue for a haircut I want to keep my length though I really like how my hair's gotten long so I'm just gonna get like a little trim and I don't know honestly I don't even know exactly what I want but I have some Pinterest inspo photos I don't know if I want curtain bangs or maybe face framing layers I'm honestly just gonna sit in the chair and be like what do you think is the best option here I'm gonna ask her and then we'll go from there so I don't really have an exact vision in mind for what I want to do with my hair, but I just know that I want like a refresh and I want it to be like bouncy and nice rather than it just being one length right now. I just, it's boring. It's giving boring. That's the plan for today. I'm really, really excited. Yeah, I'm going with Madison. She's getting her hair cut like right after me. So we're both going to be in the salon together, which is cute. Madison also wants the same thing. She just kind of wants to get layers or like face firming pieces or just something to spruce it up and just a little trim because both of our hairs has, have gotten so long. 
was just editing on my computer all morning and doing some emails and stuff and it's around almost two o'clock right now so madison's on her way to see appointments at three then we're gonna head out together so that's the vibe i want to do something before i go i want to organize my skincare shelves that i have been putting off i don't know i just haven't found the time to do them and i wanted to also film it so let me show you guys what i mean because this is gonna be a little fun project right now so in the bathroom this is my vanity sink right here and i had these acrylic shelves for so long now but we didn't get the chance to install them joel just put them up for me like last week so i'm so excited to display my skincare on here and organize it all cute so i'm gonna do that right now before madison comes over before the hair appointment because i've just been wanting to do this so badly it also comes with a fourth shelf as well but we decided not to put that one up because i don't know if i can fill all of this so he'll put it up for me if i want another one but for now we're just gonna start with these three and then see how it goes i did just get a pr package from drunk elephant though so thank you so much to them i love their skincare so much this is all gonna be going on display this is stuff that i already use and really love like this hydrating serum is so good and my skin has been getting so dry it's insane so i've been having to lather up like the oils and stuff but yeah i love the marula oil too it's so good lip balm is so good but okay let's organize all of my skincare so right now most of my skincare is in this drawer and then i have a lot of skincare that i have in here as well um but it's mostly like bottles and stuff and then just miscellaneous stuff in here i'm running out of storage so i'm really excited to be able to kind of maneuver all of this and organize it again so i'm definitely still going to be keeping skincare in here but my most used slash prettiest products is gonna go on the shelves <laughs> i'm just gonna kind of pick and choose what i want to display and then probably end up putting most of what's in here in here and kind of swap them out so then i can have this storage space for like hair care and stuff <laughs> So here is how it turned out i'm gonna leave it like this for now and then i can always swap out products if i realize that i don't like them but i think that it looks so cute and i wish that i did this earlier we were just putting it off for so long but i'm obsessed with the way it looks and it just kind of brings this bathroom together and it makes it look not so plain and then in here i still want to organize like all my little things so i'm gonna do that right now like all my dropper dropper skincare So here's the rest of my skincare i don't even have that much i thought i had way more but it's a perfect amount for this drawer and i do have a couple taller things like my micellar water that don't fit in here so i still need to put it in the cabinet but as long as it's down to a minimum that i'll have enough storage for my hair products because that's why i wanted to clear this up but now it's perfect because here and then on the wall now that's all my skincare and now it's all organized so i'm so happy and I'm so grateful for all the companies that have sent me the skincare because most of it is sent to me. I am beyond grateful. actually love it so much she did such a good job oh my gosh and i got kind of curtain bangs actually i did get curtain bangs as you can see these pieces are super short and so now when i pull my hair back i have little bangs which is so cute and i love it my hair just feels a lot more voluminous and i've just been needing a haircut so badly like this has been so 
long overdue she added a few layers as well so it's not just so bleh so it'll be like better for me when i use the dyson on my hair like easier for me to style it because it just kind of falls nicely but i will link her instagram down below if you guys want to book with her she's so good and she just like knows what's in and it was so nice catching up with her and she has her own little salon and it's just adorable and i'm obsessed with how my hair turned out so definitely check her out if you guys are in the lower mainlands but yeah i just wanted to show you guys the new hair and i also got a couple of amazon boxes so let's unpack those so first thing that i got are these iron supplements because i think i have an iron deficiency it's never been formally diagnosed but every single time i stop taking iron i get like these weird crackles on the side of my mouth and i don't even know how to describe it like kind of like a rash on the inner corner of my mouth and it starts to get really really hurtful and i don't know i just feel like i have other symptoms of low iron so i always make sure to take an iron supplement a day and my like this doesn't happen to my mouth because it's been starting again and i haven't taken iron for a while so i'm gonna start taking my iron again this is just one i get off amazon i can link it down below but i think it's harmless whether or not you have an iron deficiency i'm not sure to be honest but if you guys find like weird things that are happening to you i feel like a lot of things are correlated to iron so especially as females i think we're prone to getting low iron. That could be totally not true, but I'm not a doctor or anything, but I think I've heard something like that. I'm really excited about this one actually. So I bought myself a new tripod and not for my camera, but for my phone because I am going to start making morning routine videos almost every single day on TikTok. Since I already film for YouTube every single morning, basically, I'm like, why don't I turn that into short form content as well? And I can post it on Instagram. I can post it on TikTok. I can post it on YouTube shorts, especially because that's how a lot of creators on YouTube are getting traction right now is through YouTube shorts. So may as well try. So I'm going to be posting my morning routine every single morning or most mornings at least so i decided to get myself a little tripod so that i can have when i film my camera tripod and a phone tripod so i can do both at once which is kind of tricky like you have to really set up the angles right but it's possible i did it this morning actually but this is her i don't know i have to figure out oh there we go i have to figure out how it works but it's basically just like a long stick that goes up and it goes up all the way until like almost seven feet i think so it extends so much and then it folds up into just this which is so cool yeah it has a phone attachment and yeah i can also put my camera on here as well so if i wanted to use it as a camera one but i'm so happy so go follow me on instagram and tiktok if you aren't already because there's going to be a lot more short form content coming on there but i really hope that posting a lot of shorts on youtube i know like, i don't i personally don't even watch shorts on youtube but i know there's a bunch of people who do so hopefully by posting some youtube shorts as well consistently i can gain some more traction to my channel too because i've just been finding it kind of hard to grow orga organically and short form content is so in right now so i gotta jump on that wave and do a little bit more something about it so i'm going to just do some editing now and kind of settle down for the night maybe make a tea or something and watch some love island because that is my comfort show actually i'm gonna take um, an iron supplement right now so that hopefully my little mouth scab goes away because i don't know if i'm the only one who experiences this but it's disgusting when it happens and i have to put polysporin on my mouth to get rid of it because it seriously hurts so bad i hate putting medication on myself that's something that i really try not to do because i would rather do like a natural remedy but what has to be done has to be done sometimes let's take her i'm just getting ready for bed now but i just had to vlog here because of my new skincare shelves i think that they're so cute i don't know it just like completely changes the vibe and the aesthetic in here love them so much so this is your sign if you need extra storage in your bathroom get some skincare shelves it sounds like an ad for skincare shelves but it's not really up i'll have them linked down below though i will but i am just like so tired tonight i am gonna get ready for bed what time is it it's 8 34 probably scroll on my phone for like two minutes and then hit the hay because i don't even think i have time to read tonight i'm just gonna close all my social media apps and go to bed because I'm just so exhausted. I think it's because I didn't have like the most fruitful sleep last night because I don't know, I've just been like extra happy lately. And when I get too happy and excited about life, my sleep really goes downhill because it's just like really hard for me to fall asleep because I'm just so excited about life. That's honestly how it goes for me. I don't know if this is actually insane, but it's the truth. When I'm really, really happy and excited about my life, my sleep goes downhill and that's what happened last night i was just such in a good mood so happy and so i was kind of like a little bit energetic i guess 
and it took me like half an hour to fall asleep and usually I, my head hits the pillow and I'm asleep so that's like a long time for me but yeah so I didn't get the best sleep last night so I'm hoping tonight I can just fall asleep because I am really tired and I will pick up the camera again tomorrow but I just wanted to say goodnight before I get ready for bed and yeah I am obsessed with my new haircut it's if you can see it's just like so voluminous and my hair looks like it has life back into it and she cut off like this much of my dead ends because they were so bad but i told her i wanted to keep like the majority of the length but obviously like i needed a good trim so just like that fresh feeling out of a salon is so nice i'll see you guys tomorrow good night <laughs>this is the before of my nails i'm gonna get my nails taken off and get red shellac because my nails are actually falling off i need a new set anyways but i just want to give my nails a bit of a break so i'm gonna get them off and get them red for christmas but i'm literally just wearing sweatpants and then i put a puffer on and just a white long sleeve because i wanted to make an appointment and she's like oh come now and i was like okay so just let's get ready really quick this is the outfit I just got out of the nail salon and I actually love the way that my nails turned out. I was gonna go for a deeper red than this, but then I was like, you know what? I don't want it to look black in certain lighting. So this is like a prominent Christmas darker red and I love it so much. He did such a good job. I actually tried out a new place today because the other place that I used to go to, I loved them. They were so good, but they're pretty far from my house now because they were closer to my last apartment that I lived in. So I wanted to try a place that was a little bit closer by. He did such a good job in once I got my nails removed and they completely botched my nails. I don't know what they did, but they made me bleed. They basically just tore my nails off in like 10 minutes and was like, bye. It was so bad, but he actually took time to remove my nails and make sure that he preserved them so that they were not botched underneath. Kind of a weird feeling. I feel like I need to relearn how to type on my phone. Like it's going to take me a while to learn how to text again because whenever I get like my nails longer or shorter, I can't type. Like, I don't know if that's just me but it's also a lot easier to type on the computer without nails so i'm excited for that and editing and stuff it's gonna be kind of easier because my nails were really outgrown i think the last time i got them done my last fill was in october so it's been so long and i think it was more towards the beginning of october but i'm obsessed and it's just a weird feeling not having like nails to tap on and stuff yeah we'll see what i do from here i'm just gonna kind of ride the wave of my natural nails see how i like them and see if i want to keep them on for christmas and if not then i can always get my acrylics back on whenever but it's just nice to give my nails a bit of a break and i'm obsessed i like them more than i thought that i would honestly and i just feel so christmasy when i was in there i was really debating not getting red i was like hmm, i can do light pink i can do green but then i was like no like michaela when have you never have gotten red for christmas before so just be festive and i'm like what other time of year would i get red never so anyways i'm gonna drive home now i have to go home do a lot of editing today and some emails and i also want to get laundry done and clean my room because it's so overdone i have so much laundry to do so i'm gonna do that when i get home but yeah this was just kind of a sporadic nail appointment i needed to get them done so i just called this morning and i'm like i can come in now so it ended up being perfect and yeah the, the nails were just bugging me so much but they're good now and they feel so clean and fresh and i'm obsessed and yeah i'll see you guys when i'm home i love the color so much oh my gosh so here is the treacherous mess it's kind of embarrassing i don't even know how i let this get this bad it just happens okay it happens but we're gonna clean it even my closet is 
falling apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put all of this away and sort out what's the laundry, what's not. Then we're going to do a load of laundry after I kind of tidy everything. But to set the vibes in here while we're cleaning, I'm going to light this, these two candles. This one is from The Intelligent Change. It smells so good. And then this one is just one of my little ones that I've had for a while. But let's make this a bit more of a fun experience. The vibe is set. Let's get cleaning. currently three o'clock just past three and it's already starting to get dark which is actually crazy um and the days just have been feeling honestly since i wake up at five i get to like have the full sunlight hours you know what i mean but i was just looking at my phone yesterday and we only get eight hours of sunlight per day which is so little or light um and it's nice that i wake up at five so i can see the sunrise and get to experience that and get like the first ray of light which is nice but i feel like already at three it starts to kind of get darker and darker so it kind of sucks but at the same time it's okay because it is cozy to put the christmas tree on early and put like your christmas lights on and your candles on so that is cozy and it's kind of nice since i do go to bed at around 9 30 so i have lots of time to wind down me and joel used to go on walks every day at like five o'clock but by the time it's five it's like pitch black already so we've been trying to do our walks a little bit earlier so we're gonna go on a walk right now and then probably gonna come home and then make dinner and then after dinner i'm just gonna continue editing for the rest of the night while watching love island or maybe even the bachelor the golden bachelor i watched the first two episodes of that and then i completely forgot about it like i just forgot that it existed and haven't been keeping up with the season and i know it's basically almost done now but i love lighting candles like making a dessert and then sitting down on the couch editing while watching a show at night just like such a good combo anyway so that is the plan for right now when i'm like on my computer editing too much i have to go outside and like stimulate my brain somehow i need to like get up and moving because i've been editing my morning short form content that i just started this week so i'm going to be editing that every single morning so it's just like extra editing onto my already daily dose of editing that i have so more time on the computer which is okay but i just need to make sure that i'm getting myself out and about so even when it's like cold and gloomy outside it's still nice to get a walk in and breathe in the fresh air because after all it's like getting fresh air and connecting to nature is so important and i feel like it always grounds me so make sure even in the winter you're just getting yourself outside and also taking vitamin d the pill because you don't really get that much sun during this time of year so it's really good to take the vitamin d supplement apparently it can help with like mental health and all that so if you're feeling down and gloomy because of the weather try taking vitamin d it could really help but anyways we're gonna go outside on a nice little walk and bundle up i honestly love bundling up for a walk it's so cozy and putting on like mittens I love it and it's not raining today so Stuff that's healthy. That tastes good. You're like equal up. Can I eat this? You're gonna literally die if you eat 
Try. It's so spicy. <laughs> You're done. You're so stupid. Why did you do that? You <laughs> more? You're supposed to swallow it, not here. Mince these. That's disgusting. Is it good for you? Obviously. What is it good for? Oh, it kills bacteria. Actually. It kills bacteria in your gut? Probably. Then you get a garlic answer. Then you don't have to peel it. I know, I always forget that I do one. Here is the soup of the day. This is a Thai coconut rice noodle chicken <laughs> soup. If I remember, I will link it down below, but let me know if I forget and I will link it. But I tasted it and it's so good. It smells amazing. Gluten-free, dairy-free, and loaded with onions and garlic and some protein. I'm so excited to eat this right now. Just about to put these gluten-free cookies in the oven these are the ones that i got from trader joe's last week when i when we went to the states and they're so good but the ingredients aren't the best but we just obviously needed to finish this off we had most of them on friday but i'm just putting the last four in the oven and it's such a cozy easy little dessert and it's such a treat but so good if you guys are not even like you don't even have to be gluten-free to enjoy these because they're so good but these from Trader Joe's, they're amazing. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear this right now, but the rain is so loud and it's so nice. I have like a greater appreciation for rain nowadays because when we were in Portugal and Europe, it was sunny all the time, which is great. I love the sun, but also I kind of missed cozy rainy days. Like rain is just a whole other vibe that I never really appreciated it because we were always around, like we're always around rain here in Vancouver. I have a greater appreciation for rain now. Oh, it's only gonna be raining tonight. Tomorrow and like the rest of the week, it's like full sun. Weather has been like oddly really nice, but I'm just getting ready for bed. I'm going to wash my face right now. My lip have been so dry recently like so dry and my skin has been so dry like my in the middle of my eyebrows and like on the side of my nose here like literally flaking i was that dry and then these three things help revive my skin again i use the good molecules ultra hydrating facial oil summer friday's jet lag mask and then i put this over top the drunk elephant f-bomb as like a sealant and my skin is so much better and then i also applied the la roche posay cicaplast Bomb on the spots as well and then on top of that i put aquaphor for a couple nights straight and now it's like fine but my skin just all of a sudden got so damn dry so that really made me realize that it's winter now and i need to pay attention to really what i'm doing with my skincare and everything and make sure that i'm like keeping everything up on my lips though i've been using lanoline cream and what that is is it's nipple cream and it's supposed to be like the best lip balm ever and super hydrating because it's what women use after breastfeeding and stuff and i've been putting it on my lips i keep it on my night table so i can remember every night and it's been working for me and my lips haven't really been dry ever since it's such like a thick kind of like a vaseline texture and it works really well so i would suggest using lanoline cream if you guys are looking for the best lip balm you just go to your um local pharmacy store or whatever ask for lanoline cream and i'm pretty sure it's pretty popular to be a lip treatment so but yeah the winter really does like make my skin dry once the temperature drops my skin just notices like i notice the flakiness coming on so i just have to keep up with my skincare and make sure that i'm just really hydrated all around i used to use the paula's choice bha the toner that went viral but i don't use it anymore because it made my skin flake maybe i was overusing it i don't know but anyways i'm gonna finish my skincare and head to bed i'm probably gonna read a little before bed because like the rain sounds right now is so nice and soothing time is it it's 7 53 it's so early but i love getting to bed early and like having all that time to just calm myself down but anyways i will see you guys tomorrow i have a workout class in the morning at 7 a.m but gotta get my butt out the house in the morning but anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>
I brought my bone broth in with me so I can drink it right now because I, as you can see, I'm so disheveled this morning. I still need to do put my hair up and stuff in class, but that's fine. I can just do it right before. But I've been rushing this morning, so I have to go. But I always leave room to talk to you guys in the morning because I feel like this is just such a sacred time. And it's so quiet, like no one else is awake right now, which I love. I actually have a lot of energy this morning. I've been feeling really, really good in the mornings recently. And that's probably because what phase of my cycle I'm on because I know it all correlates. But I've been feeling just like very energetic and it's such a good feeling. I wish I felt like this all the time in the morning because it's the best feeling you just feel energized right when you wake up like i don't even want to go back to bed which is crazy but i'm going to oxygen yoga and fitness right now for a 7 a.m power core class i love this class it just like gets my sweat on and works my core which i don't do by myself because i don't know how to properly so it's really great but anyways okay i'm running late so i should get going but i will see you guys later cheers to that it feels like illegal having a mug in a car i don't know why i feel like a bunch of people do this but it just feels like i'm doing something illegal right now mm, this is like bone broth is just the perfect drink to have before a workout because i never feel like eating something this early in the morning even a banana doesn't really sound good to me but drinking this bone broth gives me so much protein and it fuels me for the workout because if i don't have anything i'll feel really dizzy and weird so i need to put something in my system it's like just the perfect medium and it's so healthy okay let's go And me and Joel are heading out right now because we have a few errands to do. We want to go to Costco and we also want to go to Ikea because we're going to set up another set of curtains today, which I'm so excited for. It's just going to make the house feel a lot more cozy. We're going to do it over our couch window. We'll show you guys all that later when we're doing it. So we're going to stop by Ikea today to like get all this stuff. And then we also just have a couple returns to do. We bought this coffee bean grinder from Walmart and it just stopped working. It's Black & Decker and they're usually a pretty good company. So we're gonna go take it back, but I lost the receipt, I have no idea where it is. So we're gonna try and if they take it back, if they don't, we'll see. So that's the plan for today. We just have miscellaneous errands to run and then I have a lot of editing to do when we come home today. We're gonna stop to get a coffee, probably at Tim Hortons on the way. It's always fun kind of romanticizing errands and picking up a little drink on the way. Yeah, it's actually such a beautiful sunny day today. It's been sunny basically all week, which is nice. And it's like a cold, frosted sunny it was so cold this morning i'm so lucky to have my car in the garage so it's not gonna get like frosted i drove out and i saw some cars on the street and they were so frosted and i'm like oh my gosh thank god my car is warm and nice it's actually starting to get freezing and i hope it snows soon i love the snow so much anyways yeah i just have a lot of editing to do and then we're gonna set up the curtains and yeah that's the vibe for today i'll take you guys out with us so busy in here it's literally like a zoo it's so scary the parking lot there's people walking everywhere cars driving everywhere i'm stationed right now joel's getting some stuff because it's so difficult bringing the car places in here it's actually crazy thank you so we just got to ikea we just left joel's parents house because joel needed to borrow his dad's tools again to hang these curtains because we don't really have that many tools joel has a couple things here and there but i'm guessing the curtains require an extensive amount of tools that we don't have this is our last errand of the day and go home set up the curtains do some editing feels like we've been out for so long now but it's just like a busy day i feel like but yeah costco was insane but anyway we're gonna go in now get it done this is like the fifth time that i feel like we've been to ikea this month mm. Here is my mini Costco haul. So I got two almond flowers. I love getting my almond flour from Costco because it comes in huge bags and the only ingredient is almonds. So it's very good. 
and I want to stock up because I always use almond flour in all my desserts and then I just got this bone broth and then just a box of coconut milk because I use this a lot to cook and everything and I only have one can left my other one then just some maple syrup to stock up because we only have one left that we're using right now so it's good to have extra got some eggs got some raspberries and then just some ketchup because Joel goes through this stuff so fast I don't really use ketchup except for fries occasionally but Joel loves his ketchup so that is the little Oh. Here is our living room right now and as you can see there's no curtains on this window But we want to put a curtain rod up here and have the curtains drape over I think that would just really pull this space together and make it look so cozy like we did in the dining room So Joel's gonna install them right now and I think it's just gonna make this area look super cozy and I'm really excited <laughs> Here is how the curtains turned out. I love them so much and it just makes this room feel so dreamy and kind of just like princessy and royal. I don't even know. I just love the curtain vibe and it just pulls the windows together because these are such beautiful windows and this adds just like such a nice touch to them. But I'm obsessed. I just want a curtain at every window now in the house. But I think this is all we're going to do for now. But I love the way it looks, especially with our new lamp that we got from Ikea last week as well. And yeah, I just feel like they really pull the room together. And imagine these curtains when it's snowing outside and sitting on the couch and being able to watch the snow with these beautiful curtains. That would be a dream. But anyways, yeah, we're obsessed with how they look. So me and Joel just went on a walk. The sun is already set, which is crazy. But that's why I have a two on because it's so cold. But I love it. I do. I love myself a good crisp, sunny, cold day. Such a vibe. And that to me, even though it's not like snow, it still feels very wintry and Christmassy, but this year I definitely want to get into doing some like skiing or snowboarding because I've never really done that. I've been like once last, no, two years ago, I went skiing for the first time ever and it ended up being really fun and I kind of picked it up quite easily because I know skiing is easier to pick up than snowboarding, so that's why I did it, but it was so fun. I want to get into that this winter. That would be super fun to do. Anyways, I'm here because I wanted to show you guys. We're at Indigo because we needed to return Return something and we ended up not being able to return it because we didn't even have the receipt and they told me that they couldn't access it on my account which is weird but anyways so I ended up getting three wrapping papers it was buy two go one free so I had to and I got this pink gingerbread one how cute is it and I feel like I can wrap all the girly gifts for my sisters and stuff and all the girls in this one because this is so cute and I've never bought or had a pink Christmas wrapping paper before so I had to pick this one up like how cute I got this red one red and white and it just has a bunch of cute little bows everywhere it is so so adorable i got my wrapping paper last year from indigo too and i loved it but little bows everywhere so cute and then i got this green gingerbread one and i think that this is just so adorable it's such a vibe these are the three wrapping papers that i got i don't know if this will be enough i mean it should be i haven't even started christmas shopping yet which i probably should be starting because every single year i tell myself that it's too early to start and then it actually it's like two days before christmas and i'm like Whoa, that went by fast. So I kind of want to start maybe next week. I don't know what I'm even getting anybody. But between my siblings, we always do Secret Santa. So we're going to be doing that. So I just have to get like one of my siblings a gift, whoever I pick. Because that has been our ongoing tradition. But I need to start thinking of what I'm going to get people. Because I have no idea. Let me know down below if you guys want me to post like a longer video every single week for Vlogmas. Or would you rather that be split up into two videos a week? Because my life is not interesting enough to post every single day on youtube i just don't do that many exciting things and i don't even know what i would film every day so unless you guys are okay with me doing vlogmas but it being basically the same video every day just different fonts if that makes sense let me know your thoughts would you rather me do every single day but it be very repetitive or would you rather me do twice a week or like a big long video once a week comment down below but yeah i have been posting every weekday on youtube shorts and my tiktok so go follow me there go watch my youtube shorts because i've been making an effort to film my morning vlog every single morning and i post it the same day that's been really fun so far this week but anyways i've been rambling on for too long now i'm gonna go settle down for the night Hey guys, so plot twist, it's actually Saturday today, 
but i am just getting ready to go to my family's house because we are all going to decorate our family's christmas tree together it's been kind of a tradition that we've done every year so even though some of us have moved out of the house my mom likes to do like a christmas decorating party type thing where we all get to get together and decorate the christmas tree which is fun so i don't only get to decorate my own christmas tree but i get to go to my family's and have a little cute christmas party i think we're gonna decorate gingerbread bowl men whatever as well so that's gonna be really fun and i thought why not vlog this just for memories and add it to the end of the video to bring a more christmasy vibe my hair is actually really really greasy so we're putting her back in a ponytail so that we can hide it i'm gonna watch it tomorrow but i was editing all day today because i've been so behind on my editing since i feel like i've just been having a l extra videos to edit this week since i started doing my short form content every day and i didn't edit as much as i wanted of my youtube video so i was editing that all day and i'm almost done i just need to add this portion to the end and then what i'm gonna film tonight this is right now currently less than 24 hours before you're gonna be seeing the video like i'm uploading this video tomorrow morning at 8 a.m which is insane to me but that's how in real life these videos are you guys you're welcome i used to really pre-film my videos and they were always like a week at least in advance but i don't know i like doing real time since my vlogs became more kind of casual and just real life so anyways that's the plan for tonight going over to my family is going to decorate the tree have dinner there as well i think my mom said she's making chicken pot pie which i'm so excited for because it's going to be gluten free and dairy free but yeah so me and joel are going to head over there and then i'm going to try to finish my video while i'm there and upload it and everything so that i don't need to do it when i get home tonight this is fun adding a little saturday into my video because i never film on saturdays because i just try to take it off and i'm usually editing on saturdays but this is so weird talking to you guys on a saturday I'm about to put an ornament on the tree um, for the first time this year, so watch and see how that goes. Guys, if you want me to do one again next year, let me know. I don't mind it for you guys. I hope you like it. I think I the best place to do it.